The most important skill that you will ever learn is going to be communication skills, people skills, how to communicate and work with people. This is more important than money. This is more important than any other skill ever on planet Earth because it helps you to make money. It just allows you to have a fantastic life, okay? So today I'm going to go through the six most effective mediums of communication and you got to know these. You got to know these by heart and they're very simple. If you study communication books, you'll understand that the vast majority of the time, it's not the words we say, it's the body language. It's what you see with your eyes. This perfectly allows me to start with number one, which is in real life, face-to-face -face communication. If you have that opportunity of being in front of a person that you're communicating with and your goal is to persuade, to sell them something or to help them or whatever it is that you're trying to do with this form of communication, the most effective mode or medium of contact and communication is being right there in person, real life, face to face. There's nothing more effective than that. If you become good at this skill, this skill alone is going to make you one of the most powerful people on the planet. One on one in real life, face to face allows you, if you become the best in the world at it, to talk to the most powerful people on the planet, the most rich people on the planet, because getting to them required face-to-face -face interactions with people. And the better you are at it, the more you're able to climb that social ladder because you get permission from this person to give you access to that person and get permission to, from this person to give you access to that person. And you're networking yourself all the way up to the most powerful people on the planet. If you're really good at 101, you'll be able to actually help those people the most rich and powerful people on the planet to help them get what they want because you understand how to get them what they want because you can speak to other people one-on-one -on -one to make things happen. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? If you become an expert at this, you can prevent wars, okay? The better you become at face-to-face, -face, in real life interactions, one-on-one -on -one with people, with people skills, the better your life is going to be because you yourself are going to have a lot of power. Just get good at that skill. Number two is video calls. Now, you had sensory inputs on number one in real life face to face that you do not have anymore with video calls. You now no longer have access to see everything that's going on in that person's environment. You can only see his face on the video calls and in this day's technology, sometimes it might lag, sometimes you don't hear what's going on all the time. Like there's issues when it comes to video call and you can't also, you can't touch them on the shoulder, you can't shake their hands, you, you can't do nothing of that sort. So it is a limiting aspect of things. Also, on number one, face to face, if you travel to someone, you're making them feel important. And that is the number one rule in people skills is to make the other person feel important and feel valued and feel appreciated. And if you're traveling far distances to get to that person to share them something, that's going to have an impact on them, right? But you can't do that in video calls. You can't pat them on the back. You can't shake their hand. You can't do any of that stuff. And so as a result, it is a medium of communication that's inferior to face-to-face one-on-one. Understand that Grant Cardone, when he's talking about his jet, he always talks about how the, he received return on investment on that airplane very, very quickly because he does a bunch of one-on-one -on -one meetings because of that airplane. He can literally fly out very quickly and get to deals that need to be face-to-face -face interacting in order for them to actually close the deal. If he didn't have that, he would have to jump on an airplane, he'd have to do this, he'd have to do that, and he also wouldn't have the status of bringing someone on his jet 
because that in and of itself for someone who doesn't have a jet is quite powerful, right? Especially if they know that you can afford it and Grant Cardone can afford his jet. So now you understand kind of parts of why the face-to-face -face is so important. And so the video calls, it kind of is limited to what you are able to do globally, right? Your reach is not, not that powerful anymore. And so, but it's still the most powerful next to in real life face-to-face. -face. All right, so having said that, the third one is an audio call. You see how every single level we are reducing the amount of sensory input and what you're able to see on the other end and what you're able to do with the other person. The thing was video call face to face, you can see their reactions, you can see their body language, you can see their facial expressions, etc. That allows you to kind of uh, space the communication and to, to, you know, increase or decrease your tone of voice and you can have different physical interactions as well and etc etc right with audio calls which is number 3 you can't really do that you don't you can't see the person so there you only have the aspect of hearing their voice you can hear their tone of voice you can hear the inflections you can hear their pronunciations you can hear all that stuff but it is inferior to number 2 so you see 1 2 3 and now we're getting to the least effective ways of communication, which requires you to actually begin to do the numbers game. You see, the, the initial three is basically all one-on-one, -on -one, right? But when you begin to move towards four, five, and six, it becomes a little bit more tricky. Four is text messaging. Now, text messaging still allows you to talk one-on-one, -on -one, but very often what people do these days is to send out mass texts, okay? Mass texts are not really that effective because it's a copy-paste thing. Yes, it goes way faster, but people have come to that point now where they don't feel valued, and if you're sending them a copy-paste, it's not going to be as personal, and they're not going to take your pitch or your uh, the thing that you're trying to explain to them that seriously. So text message can be extremely powerful, and that is the, in my opinion, the most effective way to reach out to a lot of people these days is to just send out a bunch of DMs every single day. If you're a salesperson, you'll understand that. That is the approach that people have these days. Yes, you can call, but very often people don't enjoy being called to these days. They like receiving a DM. They like to receive a text message, and it, they can just quickly send a reply back. Like, to pick up a phone when they're in the middle of something is kind of annoying, right? And a lot of people these days don't pick up the phone unless you call twice. So there's there's a lot of aspects that have caused DMs to be become the most uh, productive form of communication for a salesperson in order for them to get onto that audio call or onto that video call or to meet up face-to-face -face so that you understand that. But it's a very powerful medium and people can exchange uh, you know, words and sentences and, and communicate really quickly back and forth, but sometimes you also have to wait. So you don't know what's going on on the other side, so it's inferior to one, two, three, and that is explains four. So the next one after that is number five, which is email, okay? Email is a powerful medium. It was way more powerful in the past, we're talking 20 years ago, 30 years ago, email was on top of the world in terms of communication because long distance calls were expensive. You didn't travel as much as we do these days. And also text messaging wasn't really a thing. Right? So we've come a really a, a long way since then, but email was like one of the most powerful mediums of exchange back then or medium of communication. But right now, has in many ways lost a lot of its power because a lot of the emails we send out end up in spam. Sometimes you, like, personally, I've noticed that when I talk to a person in a thread, sometimes their reply gets lost. So there are technical difficulties. I might just be the only one that has technical difficulties when it comes to email, but it's just my experience is that email doesn't function very well. I don't like operating with email, so there's probably a lot of people out there as well that don't like to operate with email, and so the communication gets lost and is not as useful as the others that I've just explained. But email, you can send out 10,000 emails at the exact same time, 100,000 emails, a million emails, and is going to send a copy-paste message to a lot of people 
which will then cause some of them, a small tiny percentage and fraction of those people are going to take action based on the email that you actually send out. So it is a very important means of communication, but in order for it to work, you need a lot of numbers. And so there are systems in place for you to actually do that, but it's much more inferior to all the others that I've explained. Now, the last one is kind of an oxymoron because is that really a communication <laughs> form of communication? And it's silence. Silence is a form of communication, whether you like it or not. You are communicating something to someone when you're not communicating to them, when you're not talking to them. You're literally making them feel not important, right? If you're being silent, you're not talking to them, that means that they're going to feel less important and you're going to be a smaller priority in their eyes if you're trying to do business with them and they have options, right? Unless it's in romantic relationships because in romantic relationships, silence works unfortunately very well, but it's, it's um, yeah, that's something that we can discuss another time. Uh, but for now, just understand that these six are the ones that are the mediums of communication. If there are any extra, please let me down below in the comments and uh, let me down below. <laughs> Comment down below in the comments and we can have a discussion around it. But from my experience, if you understand this stuff, get good at it. Get good at how to communicate in each of these levels and make sure that the most important one, that you become an expert at it. And the way to do that, in my opinion, is to read How to Win Friends and Influence People 10 times and study people skills books and begin to apply them. The more people you talk to, the more you begin to apply these principles, the better your life is going to be because life is about relationships, nothing else. I'm excited to share this with you because, hey, this is what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.